Hey guys, my name is Moon and welcome back for more Lost Judgment. So yeah, let us continue the main story for now. School stories will continue later. Not later, but the later episodes, I mean. Yagamishi, how was school? Kaito-san wasn't happy about you going solo, you know. Eh, he'll live. He can cry about it to Sugiura. So he does. Anyway, I couldn't help but notice Skenda Law bending your ear earlier. Anything important? Right. I haven't filled you in yet, have I? Yeah, we haven't told him yet. So a policeman arrested for sexual battery might have actually been involved in a murder? Fascinating, if not perplexing. Yeah, and its roots could very well be Serio High School, where a student was driven to suicide four years ago. In fact, the motive for this murder may even be revenge. Tsukumo, could you find any mention of that suicide online for me? Already done, I'm afraid. Once the chairman asked us to take his case, I looked into everything on the school I could find. If memory serves, he was a third-year student who hung himself at home. The name of the deceased, Toshiro Ehara. Yeah, that's him. So, while I did find some murmurings about it online, nothing really substantial ever surfaced. He didn't leave a suicide note or a will, and investigators never found anything salient. So I was right before. So no mistaking it, that's the same person as the photo on Sawa Sensei's desk. His father, however, suspected there may have been a bully and promptly took Serio to court. But without enough evidence to back it up, the system more or less spit him out. Even so, the lawsuit dragged on until this year. But that level of news hardly makes a ripple online. Yeah, I doubt it would. And that's all the intel I've dug up regarding the case. Huh? <laughs> What's that sound? I'm testing a system I've been tinkering with. I thought I'd fixed this bug already. A system for what? Well, it predicts the occurrence of crimes. It predicts crime? No way. <laughs> Perhaps that was a bit of hyperbole. But it does come pretty close. Essentially, this system is designed to monitor and detect danger zones within a specific area. The city itself, to be exact. That still sounds pretty amazing. If you say so. I basically cobbled it together out of pre-existing tech. Yagamishi. Do you remember when I used my chatter search program for you not too long ago? Yeah, like three years oh, ago. Yeah. <laughs> that was a real trip. You pretty much hacked chatter to see an entire social network at a glance. Yep, and this system I've developed is a souped up version of that. Though there are substantial differences, the principle is still... Uh, how about you just try it out? Okay, I'll try we'll it out then. start with this little window. It displays all relevant chatter posts after filtering the fluff. And these posts are all pinpointed on this map of Ijincho? Right. It maps out where in Ijincho each specific post was made. So my AI constantly combs through Chatter's database as it updates in real time. What then is this? it extracts only the trouble-related <laughs> Chatter for display on the map. So it actively seeks out trouble? It's wild that you can program around such a vague concept. Well, in its current iteration, the AI isn't exactly genius material yet, so it still pings some false positives. There's something else, Tsukumo. What are you going to use it for? I'd like to use it for promotional purposes. Like advertising? Yeah. Since we're still relatively new in town, we don't have the kind of rep that brings in regular business. Oh, uh, okay. And that is where my buzz researcher comes into play. Buzz researcher? Consider the glut of trends and terms strewn across social media. These buzzwords are sometimes clues to trouble beneath the surface. So, when the system picks up one of these words and we rush over to save the day, the hope is our reputation will flourish as a result. Damn, that's some pretty intense marketing you've got going. Well, we probably won't be paid for impromptu cases, so this is sort of an upfront investment. But directly intervening before a situation gets out of hand will build us the brand we want. Uh, at least in theory. I'm not sure how it'll all pan out yet. Well, I think you've got something there, Tsukumo. Mind if I give it a shot? I thought you'd never ask. Though the system's got a long way to go by my standards. But with you as a tester, I know I'll get strong enough feedback to have this baby running in top form. 
<laughs> so you wanted me as your guinea pig all along. <laughs> you sure cracked that case quick. Anywho, let me get this app booted up on your phone. May I do the honors? Go right ahead. You may. And that should do it. Here you are. Okay, let's see here. Um, this is just a big mess. How am I supposed to know where to go? Hmm, this is indeed too much noise. In fact, this is entropy in motion. This won't do at all. To solve this, we narrow down the keywords. In other words, simplify our search? Yeah, by manually filtering keywords, we can decrease false positives, thereby locating the right spot more accurately. How do we do that? Does the AI do it for us? No, not entirely. What the AI does is pick up on any keywords it deems important. Emphasis here on the word any. Meaning it'll turn out duds every now and again. Police business. Yeah, that's still pretty busy. And therein lies the predicament. To narrow these results down any further, we must depend on instincts, experience, and even inspiration. So you're saying human intuition? <laughs> Precisely. Even in this day and age, human intuition will trump AI every time. That is, until we all become cyborgs. But that's getting ahead of myself. As it stands, Yagamishi, you've got the best intuition out of all of us. Well, let's just start with a post that smells like trouble. Trouble. Arachnid man. Spider man. <laughs> Spider man. Okay, I'll get. Wait, I can't move though. I can smell the trouble brewing already. Oh, interesting. And let's filter our results around that specific term. And there you have it. See, there's a concentration of suspicious keyword usage on this street here. As to what sort of trouble is brewing, you'll have to rely on your good old fashioned eyeballs. Shady activity isn't always the easiest to spot, so maybe think of it as a sort of treasure hunt. A treasure hunt for trouble, huh? Does sound right up my alley. <laughs> Doesn't it? I can already picture you out there, helping people in need until it all pays off. What could await you at the end of the trail? My heart rate is already spiking. I'm just glad to have a helpful app for once. You know what? That reminds me. I also have a gadget here you may find useful. Can't always be glued to your phone, right? What is this? It's a high-end sound collector. It boosts the volume of mid-distance sounds, making them easier to hear from farther away. Okay. <laughs> a sound collector, huh? I could use this to pick up cries for help, or even eavesdrop all over town. That's the idea. With enhanced hearing and geolocation capabilities, you'll be a trouble terminator. <laughs> Just like I've always wanted. Okay, noise now, I amp. do have some other gadgets in the works, but I'm still fine-tuning their UI. I'll show you soon enough. Looking forward to that. Valuable information. It's a side gate is going to be here later. Maybe here, right? They were uh, focusing on it earlier. Arachnid, man. Okay, where is it? Uh... Buzz searcher. Okay, how do we know where to go? Okay, let's see. What is this arachnid man then? The chatter about hearing arachnid man groans are around here, I think. I just need to figure out what's up with the groans coming from above. Okay, how do we unlock it? This one? Okay, there. I can hear it. I'm gonna fall. That came from somewhere above me. What's that? Okay, this guy's uh. <laughs> This guy's definitely a burglar. Is that a person? I'm about to fall. I can't. Hold on. Not good. I need to help him now. The falling man. Oh, we can parkour though. Look, we can go up. Do we parkour up there? I suppose. Ok, 
Okay, move to the left. Wait for me, sir. How are we gonna save him like this, though? I can't make it. Excuse me. Hey, are you okay? Huh? Who are you? Why are you here? I saw you from below. I came to help you. I'm saved. How did I ever let my hand slip? Oh, wow, thank you so much. Come on. Uh, what's all this commotion? What's going on here? Please. Oh, are you a resident here? Listen, could you call for help? Don't tell me. You're the arachnid man. Wait, but uh, there are two of you. Oh no, I'm gonna fall. Excuse me. <laughs> uh, it's a bit dangerous out here, so would you mind if you come inside? Uh, sure. That was close. Thanks for letting us in, ma'am. What the hell? Why were you two out there so uh, high up? Geogamy. I'm Takayuki Yagami, a detective. A detective, huh? Yep. Yes. You see, I was walking along, I saw this person was about to fall, and... Okay. <laughs> My apologies for causing a scene. My name is Shinataro Tamai. Shinataro Tamai. I'm Yutori Okachimachi. By the way. Well, Tamai-san, what in the world were you doing out there? <laughs> oh, well, that would be... Actually, I was bird watching in the roof and I just took a wrong step. You're lying, sir. You're doing something. Mm -hmm. You're bird watching? Aww. Yeah, because the thing is, I heard there was a rare bird living around here. A rare bird, huh? Which one would that be? Um, well, a swallow? Huh? A swallow? So you think swallows are common? Well, I'll have you know, it's a white one that spawned from a spontaneous mutation. I found someone talking about it in social media, so it came here right away. The arachnid man does bird watching. Something's off about this. Hmm. Are you a resident of this apartment, darling? You're not, are you? He's not. Just a minute ago, you said someone was talking about this bird on social media, so you ran over here. Oh, very impressive, Mr. Detective. You're a sharp one. Okay, this apartment has no auto lock, so how did you get inside? Well, that's... And the door to the roof is locked most of the time, and yet you managed to get up here. Well, that's because... I did the same as you, Mr. Detective. I climbed up the wall of the apartment. Hmm? You climbed up just to do some bird watching? Yeah, I love birds so much. You're lying. So the arachnid man everyone's been talking about, is that you? Yes, it does seem there are lots of rumors about me. I just want to bird watch from high places, but none of the buildings in the city allow non-residents inside. That's why I've been climbing the walls recently. So the so-called arachnid man was just a nerdy bird lover. This all doesn't make any sense. Pretty suspicious. Hmm, you didn't think to get help from the residents? <laughs> what? Yeah, I guess I could have done that. I didn't think of that. He's very, very suspicious. Okay, Swallow shouldn't be here this season. Hmm. Well, that's weird. Swallows are migratory birds. Shouldn't they be overseas right now to pass the winter? <laughs> I'm gonna search for swallows. Granted, this is from the internet, but the swallows who pass the winter in Japan are usually in the western regions. Seems like they'd be pretty rare here in the Kanto region. Yes, that's right. They're very rare here, which is exactly why I wanted to see one. Huh. Okay, I see. Even though this is fishy as hell, it's not like I have any evidence. If I don't have any evidence, I should back down, but... At times like these, I, it sometimes helps to just observe. Okay, we need to observe him then. What did you do, sir? Oh! Dang. What is this? Is that a panty? Based on the shape, that's a woman's underwear. That means he's a panty thief. Could I ask you something? Mm -hmm. Was there something else, Mr. Detective? What's that in your back pocket there, <laughs> sir? Well, that's... 
It's a panty. This is, uh... I know what they are. Those are panties. Those, those are mine. Uh... Could those be yours? Okachimachi-san? I knew some of my best panties had gone missing. I see. So it appears you fell on y Oh, uh, wait. It appears you fell when you were stealing panties. <sighs> anyway, I'm calling the cops. You guy, not so fast. I'm going to be the next Professor Panty and I won't be caught here. Oh, he wants to be like the guy from the first game. By the likes no of you. Way. Fine, no choice but to use force then. Okay, let's beat him up. Dude, 3,500 SP for one battle? Or, I mean, I guess it's side case, side case. But I was going to be the next Professor Panty. I know all about Professor Panty. I caught him myself. Yes. In a Kamarucho, right? What? You took him down? Even when I had him cornered, that pervert didn't even try to hide his creepiness. True. Remember that? He even smelled it and Yagami said, Oh, that, that is mine. <laughs> In fact, he was proud. He even brandished a damn panties at me, asking if I wanted to partake of the banquet with him. True, true. He was brave to the end. <laughs> this dude. Honestly, you pale in comparison to Professor Panty. You will never measure up to him. Come on, let's go. Uh, excuse me. Thank you for getting that panty thief. No. Oh, I'm just happy to help. You said you were a detective, right? Yep. Yes, I typically work around Kamarucho, but lately I've been taking on work around Ijincho too. I'm currently working out a detective agency called Yokohama 99, so feel free to contact me if you're ever in trouble, okay? So you're going around helping people while also promoting your business. Smart. I get it. Well, next time there's someone I know in trouble, I'll make sure they find their way to you. Please. Great. Thanks. Another case closed for now. Another panty thief case, no less. The Falling Man. Okay, do we unlock new uh, cases? I guess not yet, right? Let's go back to Yokohama first. Dude, don't tell me we're gonna be unlocking side cases like this. This is gonna be a pain, though. Right? Chikomoshi. Yagamishi, how was your first outing? Not bad. I handled the problem and name dropped you guys, so all in a day's work. <laughs> awesome. Sounds like the system's working gangbusters. By the way, if you'd like a little pro tip, you can enter keywords on your own, independent of any post. Why would I do that? Say you pick up a rumor in town, or hear someone drop a dubious phrase. Putting that into our keyword database will help refine the results algorithm. And thus, the program becomes more effective. In layman's terms, the more you enter new data, the more my program can learn. Gotcha. So this thing can hone its street smarts along with me. Correct. Do make use of the system often, if you could. Okay, current keywords. Conversations with people in the city. Chatter post. Upon discovering a searchable keyword, keyword acquired will pop. Ooh, okay, I know so we this need is to a lot, but go around one town. last thing. We've also got a bulletin board for case requests. A good number of them are somewhat beyond our current capacity. So if you ever feel like it, maybe you can pick them up. Hey, never hurts to have more income. I'll take a look sometime. Okay. Oh, we can get uh, still from Yagami's office in Kamarucho. So I guess we have two side cases. Isizaki. No, we're gonna meet Sao Sensei first. We're gonna do some side stuff still. Forbidden taste. Ooh. 
Clear this. Main store progress. Okay, where do we go? Ming Wu. Yeah, but let's see what side cases we got. How many? Do we got this one? We got in the school another one there. And another one here. There's a lot though. A lot, a lot. Oh, I think this is Ming Wu, right? Okay, Ming Wu. Okay, how about we do this uh, side case here first? It's very close though. This one. Is that a girl? Oh, that's one scared soul right there. Uh, I hope they're okay. Call out. Yeah, call out, of course. Excuse me. Hey, are you alright? Who are you? Dude, okay. Dude, she, she looks way too good for an NPC. It's okay, it's okay. I'm not a bad guy. It just looked like you were filling down, so I thought I'd see what I could do. I don't know. Could I get some get you some water or something? No. Scared women. Oh I'm no, I'm fine. And not like a drink or any type could help me anyways. Okay, based on that little comment right there, there's definitely something troubling her. Like I'd really like to help, so do you need someone to talk to? Huh? Yagami. Okay, my name is Yagami. I'm a detective. So you know, I'm better at conversations than just your average guy. You're a detective? Excuse me. Could I make a request then, Mr. Conversationless Detective? Investigate my stalker. Yep. That was fast, but sure, I could help you with that. Okay, I'm on my way home from work. Every time I get this leg of the journey, I feel like I'm being watched. It's scary. It's not happening right now, mind you. God. It's gone for some reason. I see. So you're afraid some stalker could be hiding and watching? Yes. Yes. I swear I feel a pair of eyes on me, but I never see anyone. Have you talked to the police about this? Yes, but since I don't have any evidence and no one knows who the stalker could be, the police can't do anything. Unfortunate. It could be nothing, but if it's a real stalker, this could definitely spell trouble. Yep. Okay, I understand. Well, maybe I'll investigate it some other time. Just contact me if you ever want to get rid of that being watched feeling. Oh, my name is Kyoko Hakase. Kyoko Hakase? Wasn't this a girlfriend, I think? Like, I think we had, uh... When we got our DLC, was it... Was, is this her, by the way? Hakase-san, I'll remember that. Okay, we can date her. Wow. Hey, thank you so much, Detective Yagami. It's faint, but I smell disinfectant on her. Maybe she works in the medical field. No. Okay, no problem at all. Why don't I escort you home? It's dangerous at night. My, I see being a detective also means being a gentleman. Sure, I wouldn't mind being walked to the taxi stand. Yep. One of the best features of a detective is how classy we are. <laughs> Wonderful. Somebody's watching you. Yagami. <laughs> Okay, wait for her call. While I wait for her call, maybe we can go do the other quest. Okay, let's go to Mengwu first. So we don't waste time, right? Oh, she's call- is she calling me already? Yes, this is Yagami. Um, Detective Yagami, it's me, Hakase. You met me the other days. So I'm calling because of what we talked about. Kyoko Hakase-san, the woman who asked me to look into a stalker. I told her to contact me if she felt like she was being watched again. Okay, Hakase-san, have you been okay? Do you feel like you're being watched right now? I do. I can feel it right now. I'm close to where we met last time. Okay, gotcha. I'll be there right away. Stay there. Okay. <laughs> okay, now we need to go back again. I mean, she, she's calling. Hockey. No, it was hockey, right? Okay, dude, honestly, this place is super big. It's so... It's so... Confusing.
Okay, where is she? Hey, Hakase-san. Yagami-san, I feel it over there. Well, I'm looking at it and there doesn't seem to be anyone. Yes. But I definitely feel someone's gaze right now. I see. I see. It doesn't seem like she's lying though. If there really is a stalker, now's my only chance. Okay, let's try and lure out that stalker and catch him. I'll need your help to do that, Hakase-san. Help? Okay. What should I do? I want you to stand here in a manner that'll make you stick out like a sore thumb. I'll be in the shadows trying to see who's after you. This may be tough and a lot like a sting operation, but to catch the stalker ASAP, this might be the best way. It's alright. I'll do it. Please. Okay, great. Act natural and just keep standing there while looking around. Got it. Oh! There's a guy. Okay, should be able to observe the surrounding area from here. Time to find out who's watching her. Hmm. As for the suspicion, suspicious point so far. What the? Hey. A cat. It's dark and hard to see, but that's a cat. It must prowl around here often. Suspicious. That person who wears sunglasses at night. Someone's trying to hide their face and gaze, maybe. No, it's probably just some fashion thing. Might be stretching too much. Alright, let's figure out who's watching. I'll give her the signal and have her walk down this path. Okay, both seem to be following her though. I mean, the, the guy and the cat. <laughs> Look, it also stopped. Okay, I noticed a few things while she was walking. Hey, suspicious. Uh, high school guy? A high schooler. Oh, but he's just sewing uh, with a smartphone. Maybe he's waiting for something. Hey. A girl? That high school girl sort of hiding and looking at something. Could it be her? I know, that gaze is definitely directed toward the high school boy. Not the kind of gaze Hakase-san's feeling. What the? Okay, that guy in the sunglasses is near Nasi Kyoko-san. Could it be? I know. Yoko-san said she couldn't see whoever was looking at her, even after looking around. It doesn't make sense that the stalker would be walking right behind her like this. Dude, it feels like it's the cat though. The cat isn't just roaming around randomly. It's walking straight onward at a steady pace. It's... No, I don't think I can pinpoint it yet. I should have her go again. Dude, it's definitely the cat because she said she couldn't find it, right? She couldn't see it? And it's black. It's very dark. Okay, the other guy walked past her then. Oh, another guy. Looks like he's a chef, right? Because of the headband. Okay, she's done walking. As for what caught my eye... <clears throat> That's the owner of the takoyaki stand. He is uh, glaring at everyone walking by. Could it be him? Well, he does own the place. Why wouldn't he be glaring at his customers? What but yeah, it's this cat. It's like it's looking at Kyoko-san as it walks along. It's matching her speed too. Could it be? It's the cat. It's definitely the cat. Okay, the stalker had to be somewhere in my field of vision. Why didn't I see him? Excuse me. Akase-san, about the stalker's identity. It's a cat. A cat. Huh? What? A cat? Yep. Yes, it's black. It's a black cat, so it's a little hard to see. But the eyes that were staring at you the whole time were from this cat. Hmm. Really? This cat was... Hey. Do you recognize this cat? Did you feed it at any point? No. No, not at all. I see. But yeah, it had a collar. There's something on its collar. It's is this an address? Mm. Maybe it's someone's pet. Mm -hmm. Looks like it. Let's go to this address so we might find out something. Hey, yeah.
Okay, what is this? This is it. According to the caller, Sakura Medical Clinic. Oh, it looks like a hospital, but abandoned for a long time. Hmm. Maybe the cat got left behind by its owner. The hospital's out of business. If you're having a heart attack or anything, you better find another place. Huh? <laughs> Dude, why would you go to someone and say that? No. No, no. We're not having a heart attack or anything else. We're looking for the address on this cat's collar, which we think is here. Huh? A cat? Oh, Cherry. I didn't think it'd still be in this town. Huh? Do you know this cat? I do. She used to live on the second floor of this clinic. The second floor. The first floor was a clinic, and the second floor was... Where the doctor lived, at first Cherry was just stray hanging around, but eventually the doctor adopted her. I see. But he said this place went out of business? Did this cat get left behind when the doctor moved? Of course not. She wouldn't do something so ir irresponsible. She loved Cherry. What happens was she died in a car accident. Huh? Oh, that's sad. The sad music. You know the crosswalk with a lot of traffic and near Hayake Street? A drunk driver run the light. They said she died instantly. She was on her way back from a house call. Damn, that's terrible. True. For a very long time, Cherry wouldn't move from the scene of the accident, but then she suddenly disappeared. I thought I'd never see her again. Where did you find her? Near Hiyake Street. Oh, is that right? This uh cat Cherry kept staring at my friend here and following her too. Yeah, I didn't know it was watching me, so I've been trying to figure out forever. I didn't know it was Cherry. I see. Interesting is the doctor was young just like you. She was built like you. And do you work at the hospital or something? I can smell the disinfectant in yes. you. Well, sort of. I think Cherry thought you were the dead doctor. I see. I get it. That's why Hakase-san only felt the gaze on Hake Street. Cherry wanted to protect her. Well, why don't you ask yourself? Cherry's smart, just like a doctor was. I'm sure she wasn't- or she, she's who was gazing at you. Which means the gaze was from a would-be bodyguard, not a stalker. You're a good girl, Cherry. Thank you, Cherry. You're a cat in shining armor, aren't you? Excuse me. You better adopt her, Kyoko. Okay, please tell me if I'm wrong about something, ma'am. Might you be a relative of Sakura Sensei? Why do you ask that? I'm curious as how you know about so much about that doctor. And you're crying. Oh, she's crying. Ever since I lost my daughter, time has stopped. Even the minutes I spent with Cherry at the scene of the accident felt like an eternity. It was so sudden, I haven't been able to take the sign down from the clinic. I keep thinking she might come home one day. I thought Cherry and I shared the same paralyzing grief. But... But uh, not exactly. Cherry moved on in a way. Yes, she did. She looked forward and dedicated herself to protecting someone. She made it her purpose to prevent another tragedy. Maybe I should be do better like her. I'm rambling now, but I don't think I'll be able to be asleep well tonight. Excuse me. Um. Hmm? Could I maybe take care of her? Yes, she's gonna adopt Cherry now. I'll take total responsibility for all her needs. That's not up to me. You'll have to ask Cherry. Yeah, Cherry. Look at Cherry. Did he just place the cat on her lap there? <laughs> then again, it looks like you don't have to ask. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Cherry. Okay, now you gotta protect her, a cat. Excuse me. Okay, are you gonna be getting home? Yes. Yes, my house isn't far away from here. Okay, really? Good, plus you have a reliable bodyguard with you too. <laughs> I guess I do. Thank you so much for your help. No. Not a problem. If there's anything that troubles you again, let me know. I will. I think I can rely on you for anything when that time comes, Yagami Sensei. What? Shit. Oh, then again, you're just the advisor to the MRC. So I guess you're not technically a teacher. Oh, does she work for, uh, in the school? Uh. Wait, how do you know that? Did I say it at some point? 
No, I know because I'm a school nurse at Serio High. Okay. Huh? What? Are you serious? Really? Are you serious? Yes. Really, but don't worry. You didn't forget me. We never met at school. Okay, that's true. I never did go to the nurse's office. I guess that explains the antiseptic smell on her. Hmm. But if that was the case, you could have told me. I'm sorry. At first, I didn't want to burden you with a bunch of details, and then I just forgot I hadn't told you. I guess with the whole stalker thing, it wasn't at the forefront of your mind. Okay, let me try again. I'm Kyoko Hakase. I'm the nurse at Serio High. Yagami-san! I look forward to working with you, Yagami-san. And I, you. Even though I'm the nurse, I don't know much about the school. I just started working there. Oh, yeah? Yes. Yes, it's been pretty tough for me being at the new school, but I'm sure I just need to work harder. If anything ever troubles you, Yagami-san, please don't hesitate to come to me. I can't do any saluting, but I can do counseling. <laughs> okay, I'll have to stop by sometime. When I get an injury. Oh yes, I guess so. I can treat wounds, so that I'll, that'll be fine. Yes, it'll be fine. Is it just me or my imagination, or did her mood suddenly change? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sure you're hungry, so I'll go buy you some food now. Okay, I have to excuse myself. See you at school. Yep. See you later. Take care, Cherry. Watch over Kyoko-sensei. Damn, Yagami. You can get that later. That they think the client turned out to be a school nurse counselor. When I get some free time, maybe I'll stop by and tell her my troubles. But it's not like I've got any troubles to discuss. Well, maybe if I get sleepy, I'll go over there to take a nap at least. We can talk to her about, uh, oh, girlfriends. And yeah, we can talk to her about the Kehin gang, how it traumatized us last game, and Kim-san. He acted like our friend, but in reality, he's a leech. Calling us every time he needs help. Oh, Yagami. Uh, the Kahin gang are here. They're trying to kill me. <laughs> okay, let's go here. Let's do the side case here. Hi there. I'm Detective Yagami. Huh? Oh, the detective. Since you're here, I take it you saw my request? Yep. I did. But there were some parts I couldn't quite understand. So I was hoping to hear more details. Okay, first things first. My name is Joe... Koike, and thanks for coming. I'm an international ramen researcher who travels the world. You can just call me Joe. An international ramen researcher? Okay. Well, I believe your request for me was to find the Phantom Ramen Store, right? That is correct. The Forbidden Taste. Hmm. Hmm, a phantom stall that appears at night in Ijincho. I've never heard of such a thing. Well, I've eaten every kind of ramen in the world except for the phantom stall. So it's the one spot that I can't, can't seem to get to. And when I heard of the rumors of it, I came all the way from France to find it. Okay. Now I want to eat there at any cost. Please, detective, could you lend me a hand with this? Huh. I have to admit, I feel your enthusiasm. If there's such a ramen stall, I like to eat there myself. It may take some time to find it, but I accept your request. I'll start asking around. Thank you so much. I'll do some research on my end as well, so let's meet again once we gather some information. Yep. Good idea. Thank you again. Alright, and now how to go about this? I guess I'll start with pressing my ear to the ground and hear the town gossip. Phantom ramen uh, keyword. Okay, where? How do I know which places do we go? Hmm. Okay, there are two here. And one here. One there as well. There's a lot of people there though. I guess we just run there for now. Okay, we didn't almost all ramen around here. Phantom ramen stall. 
So what do we do here? We just listen to them? Okay, they don't know. On only in empty alleys without any warning either. So the phantom ramen soul appear only appears at night. Okay, we talked to these guys. We heard them. On to the next one, I suppose. Okay, next is this one. I want salty something salty to eat. Okay, how do you find it? Let's see. He's, he's saying it. He's saying it. My cat guided the way for me. What? Without Tama, I never would have found the place. What do you mean your cat? Too much is gone now. Okay, this sounds like a pretty tall tale. True though, true. Maybe you're right. You were the closest one to Tama out of all of us. Saying things before her time was up. A cat leads you to ramen salt? That's kind of hard to believe. Okay, we got one here and one here. Maybe we'll go here, though. Didn't they say it's like an empty uh, empty spot? Okay, we'll, we'll try. We'll try it there for it. We'll try it there. Okay, the homies here. Hot ramen. They sell around here. Ramen for cats. No, it's worse than that. Apparently a cursed ramen stall around here uses cats in the broth. Oh my god, are you serious? That sound that doesn't sound real to me. Although I have heard about this one ramen stall from my grandpa. Apparently it's always swarmed with cats whenever the the stall's around. Oh uh, really? Would you eat there if you ever found it? I mean, I thought cats would be hanging around if they were used for the food. True. Like they use cats for their soup stock? There's no way, right? Okay, we're calling. Okay. About covers intel on the ramen, so I should have hit up Joe now. Okay, I need to go to Joe. Joe Mama. Okay, Joe. They said they were using cats as a soup broth. A soup broth. Disgusting. Hello, sir. Okay, hey, Joe-san. I got some more info for you, but I don't know how much of it we can trust. Ooh, that sounds great, Yagami-san. You know what they say. Where there's smoke, there's fire. Any information at all helps. Okay, that's for sure. Okay, where to begin? Uh, guide. Uh, let's start with this one. Stall that only appears at night. It's only a rumor, but some man who was talking about the Phantom Ramen Stall mentioned that it only opens at night. So it's a night stall. Mm -hmm. Yes. I hear they set up in less crowded alleyways instead of busy streets. I see, I see. This is valuable information. Okay, anything else? It, you got it by cat. The homeless were talking about a ramen saw with an opening schedule that none of them knew. And apparently, they were able to get to it only when they were led there by a cat they knew pretty well. And the ramen there is exceptional. Guided by a cat, huh? That is pretty out there. But it's all coming together now. Anything else? Cat brought. Hmm. This, this one almost sounds like an urban legend, but a rumor has it this ramen stall uses cat for their soup stocks. Cats for yep. soup. Yes, the college students were calling it a cat ramen. Cat ramen. Yeah, I... It seems that cats are involved after all. Hmm? After all? I've actually heard all the rumors about the cats before, but I couldn't believe them. However, now that they've come up again through your report, it seems the cats are integral in order to get to the soul. Hmm. I guess that's true, but I don't know what we can do about that. 
By the way, do you like cats, Yagami-san? Uh, well, sure. As much as the next guy, but I don't eat them or anything. <laughs> I see. Earlier in the conversation, you mentioned something about the homeless who were guided by the cats, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, the cat that they took care of guided them to the stall. You're not suggesting we... I am. There's no other way but to have a cat guide us. Ah. I knew it. But I don't know any cats. Oh, we got Cherry, though. <laughs> there are a lot of stray cats in the area. They're cautious at first, but I'm sure they'll open up their hearts to us if we keep approaching them with patience. So, to sum it up... So you're suggesting we should befriend some stray cats and have them guide us to our ramen stall. You really think that would work? I can't imagine these cats going to the stall themselves, especially not if, if they're on the menu. But this is the only option I can think of, so please, I'm begging you. Okay, we've already gone this far, so I'll do a little more research. Thank you so much. I very much look forward to your efforts. Hmm... We need to find a cat, though. How do we find a cat? Is there a cat here? Oh, there's a cat there. I see. Hello, fellas. What do we do here, then? What? Oh, this one. This other cat. Neko-chan. Oh, there's a stray cat. Let's see here. Let me pet you, sir. Here, let me pet you. Oh, oh it got angry, though. Ah. Wait. I guess I upset him. Hmm. This is pretty challenging. If you want to get along with the cats, you got to let your guard down and get them to think that you're a safe human, Yagami-san. Mm -hmm. What? It's Nekomiya. Oh, it's the guy from the first game. He, I think he, uh, he had a... Uh, what do you call it? A side case. Uh, no, no, not side case. A friend event. Yes, a friend event. Long time no see. Yeah. Oh, Nekomiya-san. His friend event in the first game was for us to look for some cats. Yes, I remember this. I didn't include it in my let's play when I did Judgment, but I remember doing it. It's been like three years. Sounds about right. Thank you for your help back then. Yeah, this is the guy. Masakazu Nekumiya. He's a huge cat lover who once requested me to search for stray cats in Kamarucho. Excuse me. Okay, what are you doing here in Yokohama? Business, perhaps? Yeah, I actually work as a photographer specializing in animals now. There are many stray cats around here, so... I've even heard of rumors about some friendly chickens and crayfish in the area. It's quite an interesting place. I didn't know there were so many interesting creatures around here. I should be careful not to encounter any weird ones. But you were pretty popular on social media for your cat photos. Sounds like you turned your specialty into a career. I guess you could say that. One needs skills to pay the bills. By the way. By the way, is there any chance you can teach me how to befriend cats? Okay, let me think. How about you give me a name? You give a name to each cat you encounter. For example, cats learn their names through sound. Some studies have shown that they recognize the same pitch and length of a sound which relaxes them. I see. Okay, I see. Giving them names. Also, you should put yourself in the cat's shoes and think about what it wants. Does it want to be petted? Are they hungry? And so on. So each of their personalities will be different, but I'm sure you'll be able to get along if you respond to their needs. The cats in these areas seem to have a network of their own. If you treat one of them nicely, it seems to spread amongst the other cats. Once you have the first bit of trust, the other cats might be more inclined to open up their hearts to you. Popularity. I guess that's about it. It's pretty rare for it to go well at first, so please just be patient and show them some love. I'm sure you'll be able to pull it off, Yagami-san. Hmm. Hmm, okay, I think I get the gist of it. I'll give it a try. <laughs> Hello? What? A chimpanzee's driving a power shovel in Aomori. Aomori? I think I remember that in Yakuza, in Like a Dragon. With a photo up, I'll head over right away. Hmm, 
I have got some work to do, so I'm taking off. Wish you the best. Okay, Nekomiya-san uh, seems pretty busy. Well, uh, time for me to get to work too. First things first, I need to get along with these cats. Full pork buns. Coming boon. Hey there, kitty. Nice to meet you. I don't want you just to call to call you kitty all the time. I should give you a name. A name, huh? Princess. Princess. Stay safe. Nice to meet you. See you soon. Okay. Okay. What do we do now then? A befriend the cat. I did it. So what? Okay, princess is here. Ah. Oh, what's the matter? You come all this way because you're hungry? Hmm? Okay. Is there is there something that way? She gonna bring me to the to the stall? The Phantom Ramen stall? Okay, how are we go how are you how, or how far are you going? This smell can it be? It, I can't believe it actually exists. All right, I have to let Joe-san know. Yagami-san, are you sure that that's a ramen stall? There it is. I can't believe it. I'm actually seeing um. it. I'm honestly surprised myself, but the cat actually guided me here. Cats are gods. Anyhow, let's eat at the stall before it disappears. I doubt it's gonna disappear, but you're right. If we miss the chance, I don't know when we'll get to eat here next. Let's go. 100,000. We don't have a menu, all we serve is ramen. You guys want a bowl each? Yes, sir. We would love to have our own bowls of ramen. Okay, Joe-san's completely stiff from all the nerves. That said, I don't see anything out of the ordinary with this food stall. Except for the fact that there are lots of cats here. Come to think of it, the rumor is that they use cats as a soup stock for their ramen. Could it be true? Here you go. One order of ramen. I'll have yours ready in a minute. Yep. Okay. Excuse me. Um, no need to answer this if it's a trade secret, but what do you use for the soup stock? Huh? Oh, you wondering if we use cats for them? Huh. Well, sort of. Of course we don't. I come from a family of fishermen. So we use our own unique bonito soup stock. It's one of a kind. But the cats seem to take a fancy to the bonito flakes. So the, the, now the place is filled with our feline friends. This has all caused some strange rumors about us to spread. And before I knew it, we were being called the Phantom Ramen So, But all I've been doing is setting up shop when the bonito so soup stock arrived from my parents' place. I see. Oh, so that's what was going on. That explains the irregular business hours in the swarms of cats. Well, there's our answer, Joe-san. So delicious. <sighs> Whoa. What is this flavor? Their richness is incomparable to any other ramen I've ever tasted. A wild impression, followed by an elegant aftertaste. The impact of the soup is unforgettable from the very first bite. That said, it isn't too assertive, perfectly matching with ingredients like pork, bamboo shoots, and green onions. Not only does it bring out each element of the ramen in an inviting way, but... It also maintains a balance that could be called the golden ratio. Brilliant. Simply brilliant. He has his own hype man. <laughs> or he's his own hype man. But when you unravel it, you'll find that the requirements are simple bonito soup stock, ginger, mirin, chicken bones, and garlic. And yet, there's something in it that I'm clearly missing here. What is that final piece that completes this ultimate ramen? What is the key figure of that golden ratio? If it's not the cats in the soup, what could it be? I barely caught a word of that, but I'm glad you're enjoying it all the same. But if you eat the ramen with so much intensity, aren't you gonna lose sight of what's really important? Chef. It's like you said, this is the ultimate form of ramen in pursuit of simplicity. If there's anything I added it to the end, I'd say it's love. I don't think anyone can beat me in terms of how much love and passion I put into each bowl. Enjoy. Does it really taste that different just because the bonito brought is unique? Maybe use a special me method to make it or... 
And here's your bowl. Thanks for waiting. Oh, thank you. Huh? Oh, this is... Dude, his hand is in my soup. His fingers. So delicious. The final piece was a chef's finger. Okay, it was actually intended there. Not sure if I want to break it to him, though. I love ramen. Okay, the, the final ingredient was the... With the finger. Of the chef. Okay. So, yeah. Uh, we will end our episode there. Dude, very long side cases. The one with Kyoko. And this one especially, right? I hope the side case aren't all like this one. Because it's gonna get old real fast, right? I hope it's still uh, basically the same as last time, right? But not much of this one. Because it can be... Uh, what do you call this? Not tiresome. Uh, I don't know the word though, but yeah, not every time, please. We'll ju I just want to do some uh, normal side stuff. Because running around like that, sometimes it could take 30 minutes to finish a side case. And yeah, I usually just do an hour an episode. And <laughs> we need to do as much as side cases per episode, right? Because there's a lot of side content in this game. We got the school stories and now we're starting the side cases as well. I think we're going to out... Um, outdo the main story <laughs> let's I'm, I'm gonna think for example if we have 100 episodes for example 80 of those are gonna be the side stuff 20 is just a story related stuff right <laughs> it's gonna uh, there's a lot of side cases but yeah next episode i guess we'll just continue to the side stuff still i want to finish them as soon as we get them right so while we go towards the end of the game, we're going to be just finishing it. No need to go to the side stuff and that blah, 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 right? So yeah, uh, next episode, more of the side cases. So I'll just see you then, guys. Bye-bye.